Max Muncy now available. First question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Uh, I think a lot of it. Um, you know, we were struggling to get going there, and then uh, towards the end of the game last night, we started finding our stride. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing for us was try to carry that over into the uh, beginning of this game, and we were able to do that. Every single one of you is incredibly competitive. If you weren't, you wouldn't be playing at this level. What does it mean for you as the boyhood fan of baseball to be able to hit a grand slam in the postseason in your home state? It's pretty cool. Um, no, there's not too many things that are cooler than that, but uh, you know, the biggest thing to me is our team got a W and uh, get, got us back on track. Incredibly humble and a response I would expect from you. You guys jumped on right early. I know you guys probably didn't have the biggest book on him considering the level of experience he's had in the major leagues, but how much of a focus was it to be able to try to get some runs on the board as early as possible? Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, that was kind of our, uh, our whole goal is just carry the momentum over from last night. Um, you know, I felt like we put together pretty good at bats uh, right out of the gate, and uh, you know we got got the bat to the ball pretty good, and uh, good results happened for us. Julio well, Arias seems to be growing up before our eyes as far as his development as a pitcher. From your vantage point over there at first base, what were you noticing from him tonight? He was mixing it up pretty well. Um, you know, he maybe didn't have the best command of his pitches like he usually does. Um, you know, he's usually able to spot everything he throws. Uh, I think that's what makes him so good, and. Uh, you know, he, he, he had to battle a little bit tonight, but he's able to get through it, and that shows how tough competitor he is and uh, the kind of stuff that he has, that he can uh, not necessarily have his best stuff and still find a way to get through it. Thank you for your time. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Hey, Max. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard or read this, but before the game, you know, Mookie Betts was talking about how it starts with him. Um, you know, how, how big is it when, you know, the best player on your team kind of takes shoulder that type of responsibility and, and, you know, comes out and, and delivers that, you know, especially the way he did today with, you know, with more than hus with more hustle than any. Yeah, you know, that's big out of him. Um, you know, for a guy to have the, uh, the accolades and the amount of success that he has to still go out there and admit that, you know, things start with him. And that's why we brought him over here was for, uh, uh, you know, him to get us going. And, uh, you know, he's able to do that today. And, you know, like I said, I think that shows the character of him, that he's, he's willing to shoulder some of that responsibility. And, uh, you know, that's something that he's done all year long that, uh, has shown us who we need to be, and that's, uh, you know, him doing that has made all of us better. Thank you. Next question is from Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Max. Um, they described the movement club up before the game as pretty light. Um, how, how would you describe it? And did any of that surprise you just sort of given what the stakes were today? Yeah, I'd say it was uh, a pretty light, pretty light ad, too. A lot of guys are joking around, and no, it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, you know, we, we know who we are over here. Uh, you, you know, we're a really good team. We kind of lost our footing those, these first two games. But, and, you know, like I said, we all know who we are. We weren't worried about anything. And, uh, you know, tonight we went out and showed what we can do. Thanks, Max. Next question is from Scott Braun. Go ahead. Max, who do you think had the most impressive hit of the night or who looked the most locked in on the team in your mind? Um... You know, I think you kind of have to give it to Jock. Uh, you know, he was every single bat he had. He grinded out pitches. He got the barrel to the ball. Uh, you know, he had a big hit for us. And, uh, you know, to me, Jock was the most impressive tonight. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what he does in these situations. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Jorge. Hey, Max, the last two nights, you guys really uh, kind of waited out start pitchers. You know, we have pitch counts tonight. You know, uh, bad to see your first pitch. You guys sort of flip the game plan a little bit tonight? Um, not necessarily. Uh, you know, our, our game plan the last the first three games so far has been the same. It's just, uh, uh, you know, today we were able to jump on the pitches we wanted to, whereas the last two nights we, uh, uh, you know, we missed those pitches. We fouled them off or, um, you know, we took them. But the game plan was still the same. Thanks, Max. Jock Peterson now available. First question is from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. I talked nice offensive game from 
you tonight. How much of the focus for you in particular was being able to jump on right early and, and just get you guys on the board as soon as possible? Uh, yeah, you know, we uh, obviously scored a lot of runs in the first inning, so that was uh, fun to be a part of. And I think uh, some of the momentum from last night, uh, the last uh, inning definitely carried over and got got us feeling a little bit more comfortable at the plate. So uh, it was fun to be a part of. I mean, every single person in the starting lineup had the ability to get on base tonight and really create some havoc as far as the offense was concerned. Is this a game, or particularly those first three innings, where everyone's kind of just running to the bat rack hoping they can get a chance? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's kind of always like that. And uh, we have so many talented players on the team that uh, everyone wants to get a crack at it and thinks they they are knows that they can contribute to uh to helping our team win and that's uh that's it's the depth we have and what what makes it so fun and competitive Max Muncy was just asked by Scott Braun of MLB Network who he thought was the most locked in in terms of the position players tonight and, and Max mentioned you and this is a guy that hit a grand slam in this game what is it about the month of October that you just seem to shine uh, I don't know. I know that uh, <laughs> it was probably his birthday today, so I uh, hit a homer for Poppy, and uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Happy second birthday to Poppy. Thank yeah. you for your time, Jock. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Uh, Jock, um, you know, obviously the, the whole first inning kind of started with Mookie getting on, you know, base by beating out that throw to first. Uh, how big is that when, you know, you're the best player on your team, uh, you know, finds a way just to kind of claw his way off the base the way he did there. Uh, it's huge. Mookie does so many good things on the baseball field, and uh, I think it was more so that uh, we won the challenge. Everyone uh, <laughs> got pretty fired up over uh, Chop, our uh, challenge replay guy. So uh, that was uh, it was it was good. It got us going, and uh, and then from there you saw what happened. Next question is from Alden Hernandez or Alden Gonzalez. Go ahead. Hey, Jack. I know you can never um, predict eleven run first innings, but was there um, anything leading up to this game that maybe gave you a sense that one of these big offensive nights was coming from you guys? Yeah, I think I said it earlier. Kind of like the uh, the last inning of last night. You know, breaking open a lot of people left. hitting different, uh, getting people moving around the bases and turning left. So. I think that momentum uh, carried into today and take it into uh, into tomorrow. We've got a long way to go. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Jack, you have uh, seven hits down your last two starts in the last week. I'm just wondering if there's anything that's changed, any adjustments you've made to sort of you know, get back on track after uh, your head this week? Uh, no, not really. Uh, just we're working on staying in the zone, swinging at my pitches, and uh, and yeah. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Pedro Mora. Hey, hey, Jock. You said that everyone was celebrating Chad Chop on, on that uh, first inning move he played. Had he been, you know, certain that it was a that it was a good call to replay, or what? Take us through what happened there exactly. Uh, no, I think uh, there was a little bit of a miscommunication uh, yesterday, and uh, a couple, couple. Uh, other ones, but uh, he was out by quite a bit. Uh, who hit it? Freddie Freeman kept his foot on the base. I forget what happened, but uh, and he was out by a lot, and we challenged it. And uh, and then today, this one, it was obviously a really, really, really close play, and it turned in our favor. And for some reason, that just got the whole bench little little match on everyone, and we were excited and uh, just ran with that momentum. One more. Go ahead, Tim. Thanks, man. That was exactly my question. So I'm good. Thanks, Jack. First question is from Milana Rizzo. Go ahead. No, la verdad, muy contento, no muy contento por 
Se necesitaba esta victoria, la verdad que, que mis compañeros, eh, como siempre le he dicho, ¿no? es una ofensiva tremenda y, y bendecido de estar de este lado, ¿no? como siempre le he dicho, hoy explotamos y, y gracias a Dios que salimos con la victoria. Even more of the ability to attack the zone and not have to be so fine. ¿Qué tan a gusto te sientes al momento de ver la ventaja que tenías para poder atacar la zona y no tener que preocuparte por el marcador? No, la verdad que que es muy diferente. No, obviamente es un marcador que que es mucho colchón para nosotros y y la verdad que que traté de enfocarme en eso. No, la verdad que que salí a pelear, salí a dar el 100% como siempre lo he dicho y y gracias a Dios que las cosas salieron y y pudimos llegar hasta el quinto inning y, y así darle un poco más de descanso al bullpen. ¿no? Yeah, it's a little bit different, and obviously you have a little bit of a cushion, but you got to stay focused and you got to fight, and I always try to give my 100%, like I always say, and luckily I was able to make it to the fifth inning and give the bullpen a little bit of a rest. You had mentioned 100%. You also hit over 100 pitches for the first time in your career. Are you glad that they were able to give you that length and let you go with that? No more rains on you. Mencionaste el 100 Hablando de eso, te dejan por fin superar los 100 lanzamientos. ¿Qué se sintió poder eh, estar en ese momento y sentiste que te estaban dando la confianza para poder eh, superar los 100 picheos? Sí, no, obviamente este, ya inning tras inning eh, había pláticas con, con el coach de picheo, con Mark, y, y la verdad que siempre me dieron la confianza, ¿no? Este, para eso trabajamos, para, para lanzar hasta, hasta 100 o más lanzamientos. Entonces yo pienso que, que estábamos preparados y gracias a Dios que, que salieron las cosas bien. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Inning, oh, sorry. Inning by inning, I was talking to Mark, and this is what we prepare for. I prepare for, I prepare to pitch 100 pitches or more, and I, luckily things worked out. Go ahead, Bill. Julio, were you able to go out for dinner during the top of the first? What did you do for that, that long time? No, no, tratar de mantenerme caliente. Este, ahí entré a los cage y, y tiré un poco las pelotas que estaban ahí del, con las que batean ellos y, y tratar de, de, de estar moviéndome, ¿no? Porque sí fue, fue un poco difícil, pero pues bueno, bueno, en, en, dentro de lo que cabe fue bueno, ¿no? O sea, no, no, no hay problema con eso. A little hard, but you could also say that it's a good thing. I'm not going to have a problem with what happened. Was there any discussion of pulling you out early and saving you for the, you know, a relief appearance in a few few games from now? Hubo quizás alguna plática de salir temprano de esta salida para poder pensar en un relevo más tarde en la serie. No, no, estuvimos pensando en el juego de hoy. Estuvimos hablando del juego de hoy, cómo seguir haciendo ajustes y tratar de llegar lo más lejos que se podía, ¿no? Y, y pienso que, que fue la forma, fue la forma de trabajar en Intrasini y, y como te digo, contento por la victoria. No, we were focused on today. I was just focused on making the adjustments to try to be out there and pitch as long as I could and just try to make it as far as, uh, far as possible in the game. And I'm, like I said, I'm just happy we won. Next question is from Ken Gurnick. Go ahead. Julio, you had a lot of challenges last year. Oh, what did you learn last year that helped you turn your season around this year and get to this point tonight? No, como lo digo, no este, son situaciones que que no es fácil, la verdad, no es fácil eh, un día venir con una mentalidad, el otro día venir con otra mentalidad, ya sea relevo o abridor. No es fácil, obviamente uno trata de mantenerse lo positivo lo más que se pueda y como lo digo, cuando uno está positivo y da el 100% de uno, no importa si el juego está muy despegado, si el juego está pegado, si es a cerrar, si es a abrir, o sea, simplemente tratar de tener buena actitud arriba de la loma, divertirme y, y recordar lo que, lo que hacía de, de niño, ¿no? Obviamente eso es, es lo que me apasiona hacer y, y es lo que me gusta hacer, este, lanzar y, y poder ayudar al equipo. Yeah, I mean, the just different. I, it's not easy to come in day by day with a different mentality of being a reliever or being a starter. And uh, it's something that you just have to stay positive and you just got to go out there, have a good attitude, uh, whether you're going to start, you're going to close, or you're going to be in any other situation and try to have fun and remember 
that, that feeling as a kid that you love being out there, you love to pitch, and uh, just try to do my job. Next question is from Eric. Steven, go ahead. Julio, when, it, when it's 11 nothing in the first inning and you walk the first two hitters, there was a conference on the mound. Just wondering what, what was said during that conference. Sí, no, que tratara de confiar, no, que la ventaja obviamente era, era muy abierta y que tratara de confiar en mí, este, recordarme que, que, que siguiéramos atacando, que siguiéramos atacando, que confiáramos en los lanzamientos y simplemente que, que tiráramos la pelota, no, obviamente esto, esto es así y, y con un lanzamiento podía sacar un doble play, entonces esa fue la conversación que, que tuvimos. Siguiente pregunta de Diana Alvarado. Adelante. Siguiente pregunta de Claudia Gestro. Adelante. Julio, lanzaste cinco entradas con 101 lanzamientos. ¿Es esta la alineación más difícil que has enfrentado? Pues todas son difíciles, ¿no? Todas son difíciles. Por algo, por algo llegan a donde llegan. Y yo pienso que, que del 1 al noveno bateador, todos con cualquier equipo te pueden hacer daño. Entonces simplemente enfocar, enfocarme en, en atacar, enfocarme en, lo que, en el plan de uno y... Y gracias a Dios que, como te digo, salieron las cosas el día de hoy. Y la última pregunta de Manuel Campa. Adelante. ¿Tú qué tal? Empatas la marca de, de Fernando Valenzuela de cinco triunfos en postemporada. También empatas la marca de Fernando Valenzuela de tres triunfos en una sola postemporada. ¿Para ti qué significa tan temprano en tu carrera ya estar en estos libros de récord? Bueno, uno nunca piensa en eso. Como siempre lo he dicho, uno nunca se enfoca en en qué voy a hacer hoy o qué no voy a hacer hoy, ¿no? o sea, uno se enfoca en tratar de dar el 100% por el equipo, ya los resultados o los récords, lo que venga, o sea, ya eso sale sobrando, ¿no? este, mis respetos, para, como siempre lo he dicho, para el señor, de, para Fernando, y, y como lo digo, uno trata de hacer el trabajo por el equipo, gracias a Dios que salieron las cosas el día de hoy, y a buscar la victoria el día de mañana para empatar la serie. Gracias, Julio. First questions from Alana Rizzo, go ahead. Corey, it generally doesn't happen in a postseason game that you get taken out of the game after your first three at bats. How pleased are you with the way that the production was able to come offensively tonight and uh, really make a statement in this game three? Um, yeah, you know, that was a big first inning for us. Um, we kind of built off of last night. Um, it was nice to see it kind of translate into today's game, but. You know, a lot of credit goes to Julio. He he sat for 40 plus minutes that first inning and still came out and and attacked guys and was in the zone making pitches and he did it all night. It was a it was a really impressive outing all the way around the field. In that first inning, after your RBI double to bring in Mookie, the majority of the runs scored were with two outs. What can you say about the uh, quality of that bat that your teammates took in that in that first inning to be able to do that with two outs? Yeah, you know, I mean, we took quality at bats all night. You know, even when we got up, people were grinding out pitches. We made them throw a lot of pitches tonight, and that's that's what you're looking for in a long series like this. You know, you wanna you wanna get to guys as much as possible, and and we did that tonight. But you know, tomorrow's a different day, and you gotta come out and do it again. Earlier today, Mookie took full responsibility for uh, the you know the defensive play when it was the ground rule double on Zamzi Swanson at bat yesterday, as well as responsibility for not setting the table in his mind yesterday. In that first inning, he forces the defense and forces the issue. How key of an at bat was that, and how key has he been? Um, he he's been great all around. You know, that's a true professional taking responsibility like that. But that play down the line is a tough play. You know, that's you're running around the wall. You don't know where you are. You know, it, it's none of that's his fault. You know, the way yesterday went is a team effort. You know, we won today as a team. We lost the last two days as a team. So we're going to come back as a team tomorrow and try and put a good effort forward. Next question is from Ken Gurnick. Go ahead. Corey, October hasn't been uh, too kind to you in past years. W what did you learn uh, in earlier postseasons that has, that's led to you
you to have such a breakout postseason this year? Um, you know, just you've been around it now. You know, you know what to expect. You know. The game changes, you know, you get pitched to differently. Um, taking your walks just as good as a hit, you know, moving the runners, anything you can to help your team win, you know, and and results come. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you're not you're not worried about your own results. You're worried about just making the last out and winning games at the end of the day. So that's what we're here to do, and we're going to try and do that again tomorrow. In those early years, were you trying too hard to do it yourself? Um, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily that, but... Definitely being too aggressive, swinging at pitches you shouldn't, getting into bad counts, not realizing how important moving the chain is, not realizing how important just to walk is. Um, you know, and you just kind of learn those things over the year, and you try and do them as best you can. Thanks. Next question is from Bill Shakin. Go ahead. All right, given all the Octobers you've been here, just curious how different was it to see Kenley out there in the sixth inning, and given how positive he always is, what's he been like the past – Week and supporting you guys. Yeah, you know, Kenley's Kenley's still our guy. You know, you you, you trust Kenley to go out there and get outs. Um, he's done that for a very long time in his career, um, and we we expect nothing different. Next question is from Tim Brown. Go ahead. No question. Though. Next question is from JB Hornstra. Corey, you talked about the wisdom of not being too aggressive and, and having learned that from the past. But that first inning today, you guys were really jumping on right early in at bats. What's sort of the secret? Is it really just a matter of good scouting and having a good idea of what he's going to throw you on that o o pitch? Yeah, you know, there, there's a lot of reports. There's a lot of different things like that. And it's not necessarily not being aggressive early, but it, it's winning the pitches you should win. You know, not trying not to swing at the borderline pitches, trying to – win early in the account to set up later in the account to get it back in your favor. It's just little things like that. You know, it's not necessarily going up there and just taking and trying to take until you get two strikes or blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's just about winning those pitches you need to win. And when you have an inning like you guys had last night, that ninth inning, really that whole rally started with your home run in the seventh. Can that build confidence to where coming into today, maybe you do have a little bit more confidence when you step up there trying to be aggressive early? Yeah, you know, we, we felt a lot better that just yesterday in general. You know, all up and down the lineup, we had good ABs all throughout the night. You know, to finally break through and scratch a little bit at the end definitely helps coming into today. You know, we, we rode that momentum through the, the first couple innings, and then you kept having good ABs throughout the game even when you're up. Thank you. We've got time for one more. Go ahead, Scott. Corey, the video is great. You know, we've talked about how it's not available the same way in game. How do you think um, that affects you this postseason? And do you think it might even help to just have the ball game going on? Um, you know, it's kind of the same thing as during the year. You know, you, you rely on more feel. Obviously, you wish you had it. Obviously, wish you could go back and check it. Um, but it's just not in the cards this year. So you, you're doing the best you can. Thanks, Corey. Thank you. Dave Roberts now available. First questions from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. Dave, a record amount of runs scored in one inning in the postseason for Major League Baseball. What is it that got into your guys today that had been lacking uh, in previous games apart from the ninth inning yesterday? Yeah, you know, uh, obviously uh, the infield hit by Mookie started us off and then Corey going the other way. Um, and I just realized that we got all those runs with uh, two outs. Um, you know, just really good at bats. I mean, really, Alana, just good at bats. And then we hit some homers and took some walks. Um, just a really, obviously, a well-played inning. And um, I, I do think that last night's ninth, uh, bled over into tonight. So it was just a, obviously a fun offensive night for us. Um, played good defense. And even, you know, when the game was out of hand, we still, I thought, in my opinion, took really good at bats. Um, Julio wasn't sharp early, but for him to get through five innings to say some other arms, I thought was huge. So uh, a good night for us. The overturned call to start the game and then the RBI double from Corey, are you thinking once that call's overturned that perhaps this game is going to go in your favor? Did you see that as perhaps a good omen? 
I, I, I think so. Um, that goes to uh, Chad Chop. He does replay and did a great job. And so to get that infield hit and then, yeah, the next pitch, you see two pitches and you've already got a run. Um, that was a, the, quite the, uh, the change, yeah. Uh, it's no surprise um, that he got through it, and um, you know I can recall that uh, Camargo at bat was a really good one. I think Acuna, that first at bat of the game, you know, saw some pitches, but he settled down, keep, kept making pitches, and knew we needed some length out of him. So um, to get him through five, get him up to 100 pitches, it was really good. Finished a lot better than it started, but uh, credit goes to Julio. Thank you. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Um, yeah, um, we're going to start Clayton tomorrow. And that, that dirty reported everything's fine and all that? Yep. Needed to happen. And, uh, just in the last week, Job in his three starts, I think he had seven hits. What are you seeing in his at-bats that's different than before? I, I just think that, um, you know, Jock is really staying in the strike zone. Um, he's using the big part of the field. And, you know, even left on left tonight stays in there and hits the ball hard up the middle. And, you know, when a guy is going hard through the middle, then they're seeing it, seeing it pretty well. So, um, Jock's doing a fantastic job for us. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Once you get up to that uh, big early lead, was there any consideration given to shutting Julio down, saving him for another game? Um, no, no, I, I think that, you know, getting some other guys not pitching um, was important as well. And um, so, yeah, he'll have a couple of days off and we'll kind of see where he's at then. And with Clayton, uh, is everything just business as usual now? Is he going to be uh, shortened in any way? No, my, my expectation is that he's going to go out there and make his start and, and help us win a baseball game. You know, Bill, I, I don't know. I, I guess we'll all find out tomorrow, but I just, uh, you know, know that, you know, if he's in a good place physically and, and you know, he'll be prepared, you know, so um, I like where we're at. Thanks. Yep. Next questions from Pedro Mora. Go ahead. Yeah, Jack said that there had been some, uh, I think, miscommunications was the word he used with Chop uh, earlier in this series on replays. How certain were you on that, uh, on that Mookie one to begin this game? Yeah, you know, I, I think for me, I just um, I, I just defer to to those guys, and I think they do a good job, and and uh, we went with it, and, and we got it right. So that was, you know, give them credit. Next questions from Mike Di Giovanna. Go ahead. Thanks, Solomon. Uh, Dave, was there following up on the question Funk asked about Julio? Was there? A conversation after that first inning, or even after the second or third, that hey, this might be an idea we can consider, knowing how good he has been in relief, and knowing you could have a game seven in four days. Uh, no, no, um, because uh, you know I, I think that we wanted to get through this game, and uh, obviously there was uh, you know it was a big margin, um, but for him to find his way and to pitch well, I, I thought has a lot of value. And uh, I don't think right now, Mike, we're worried about game seven. And Julio, you know, you've been very careful with him over the years. Uh, it, 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 does he seem sort of ready to, you know, sort of get rid of those kid gloves a little bit? And is tonight sort of a move toward that? Yeah. I mean, I, I think that if you look at, you know, his last turn in, in relief, it was four and call it 85-ish. And tonight he went five and 100. So um, he did exactly what we needed. Yeah. Next question from Bill Shaken. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you through all that October as you've been here, what was it like seeing Kenley out there so early in the game? How did you assess his performance? And how has it gone between you and him the last week in terms of communicating his role? Oh, well, well, Kenley and I are great. We've always been great. Um, I, I think that I was really uh, pleased the way he threw the baseball. And um, every inning is important. Every out's important. And also just to give him an opportunity to pitch and as he's been working through delivery stuff to see how it plays with major league hitters. And so that's beneficial for everyone. So I was just really happy with the outing. 
Next question is from Bill Plashke. Go ahead. Yeah, the, watching that first inning historic barrage, do you find yourself ever amazed, surprised? What's it like in the dugout when all those runs are being scored? You know what? I, I think for me, it's just you're just happy for the guys. You know the hitting coaches. Uh, put in a lot of work uh, preparing the hitters, and the hitters put in their work. And then so for it to play out like that, you just feel the energy, and it's uh, a lot of excitement. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Scott Braun. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Is uh, Dustin lined up for game five? And also, how's Bueller supposed to responding to line up for a normal game six if we're going there? Yeah, you know what? Right now, I, I think, Scott, we're just, you know, Right now, I, I think I'm just, you know, we're just focused on Clayton making the start. And, um, you know, we'll pick up the pieces tomorrow and see where Walker and Dustin are, are at. Next question from J.P. Hoinstra. Go ahead. Yeah, Dave, in the first inning today, we saw a lot of really solid contact on the first pitch of the bat, especially in comparison to the first two games of the series. How much of that is confidence? How much of that is scouting? And how much of that was the deliberate change in strategy? I think it was just approach, um, and I can't really recall JP exactly what the pitches, each pitch in those you know 13, 14 hitters that were that hit in that first inning, um, for you know fastballs, breaking balls. But I do know that our guys want our hitters to be ready, you know, for strikes. And if they throw a strike, you know, to get ahead, then we're ready to fire, and that's what we did tonight. Thank you. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Claudia. Dave, how do you keep your team focused to come to the next game with that intensity in those first innings? Um, you know what? I, I think for me, it's pretty easy. We got good players, uh, really focused players. Um, so understanding we had a big lead early, but I just really felt good. Um, after that first inning, we still stayed, fo stayed focused and played good baseball. Because um, at times when you get a lead early, you start getting sloppy with your at-bats and the defense and the pitching, but we stayed focused for nine innings. So that's, you know, all goes to the players. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.